It's been a very trying couple of days for the state of Oklahoma. It's a sad time for us because we've experienced one of our most horrific storms and disasters that the state has ever faced. But yet in the midst of tragedy and loss of life, we've also seen the resilience and the courage and the strength of our people. And we will get through this, we will overcome, and we will rebuild, and we will regain our strength. We have plenty of capacity in our hospital to take those that have been injured. We estimate there have been around 237 injuries so far that we know of that have shown up at our various facilities. We don't have any firm numbers on the number of deaths that we have experienced. We, we know that there are people that have, and bodies have been taken to the medical examiner's office, but we have also heard that there may be bodies that have been taken to local funeral homes. And so we are working real hard right now to try to get a more accurate count of the loss of life, and we hope to have better numbers on that. Let people know you're okay. Uh, one of the challenges with this type of event is uh, because the devastation is so bad, it's difficult to get a handle on how many people may be missing. So if you have, you did live in the areas, you were impacted, let people know you're okay so we're not looking for people that we don't need to be looking for.